Hey folks, it's Barry here. Welcome to my Virgin Kitchen. Today's video is a food fear. Now, if you don't know what a food fear is, it's basically a series of videos where I'm trying to overcome my fear of foods that I've always uh, disliked, uh, like blue cheese and beetroot, uh, traditionally. But today, is a little bit different. Behind me is a bag that I've been sent of treats from Zimbabwe, from Rob, uh, which next week I'll do a full taste video on that, but within it was something quite quirky. Uh, something I've not heard of before, but this bag contains some dried mopane worms. And uh, yes, as you'll see on the screen right now, as you take them out of the bag, they're like big fat caterpillar things, which are actually quite a nice traditional snack. So apparently these are really nice, hot, uh, with some nice fried onions, a bit of tomato sauce, a particular Zimbabwe one that was sent to me actually, uh, but just like all my other food fear videos, I'm gonna take the ingredient on one on one. Uh, just like when I had liver, I had that plain, and I'm gonna have the worms plain. So what I've already done is refreshed them, I've dunked them in water, brought them back to life, and uh, they were sat bobbing away in a bowl for a good three hours, and it started to go a, a nice murky greeny color. Uh, but after that, I drained it off on some kitchen towel, fried it up in a pan with some oil for a good five minutes, got a little bit of nasty sort of blacky colour on there. I don't know if that's going to help with the flavour. Hopefully it will. Drained it off on some kitchen towel and it's now sat in a gorgeous ramekin dish ready to be monged. If that's the word. I hope you don't mind. I've just got myself a glass of water just in case. I hope I don't need it. Uh, but we're going to try this right now. And as you know, I've just got back from America. When I was out there in the Grand Canyon, I did actually buy a packet of worms, uh, which I was going to try on a taste video, but I left them in a hotel. So the whole eating worm things is something that's really starting to pick up a trend. Uh, but apparently in South Africa, it's been going on for quite a while. So this is the one I'm going to go for. I'm just going to close my eyes. It does smell quite musky, actually. Here we go. Oh my gosh. At the moment, it just feels like I'm chewing on a stick. It's really crunchy outside of it. But at the same time, oddly, as I'm chewing this more, I don't know if you can see, my face feels like it's starting to relax a bit more. It's actually starting, I don't know why I'm doing that with my hand, I'm really sorry, to taste like chicken. I know everyone says this tastes like chicken. There is a definite chickeny vibe. A rough, crusty chicken. Oh my goodness. Mm. Um, yeah, so it did taste of chicken, and then those last few bites, it started a really taste of grit. Almost like I was trying to eat a quarry. Um, really sort of dry texture to it, so I can imagine in a sauce with onions. I am going to have my water just to freshen my palate a minute. Mm. Yeah, but there was definitely one sort of final twang of like dirt. It could have even been the head that I'd bitten off. Uh, so, I know some of you guys wouldn't have wanted me to try this without trying one raw which apparently is quite nice too. So let's do that, but um, take the head off it. Yeah. I found a built-in monochrome setting on my camera, guys, and it makes it look even scarier and like, ew, like from a horror film or something. Ew. Right, I don't know if you can see that. Actually, <laughs> it looks a little bit like a moustache. Hello. Uh, so yeah, I've got a black head here on the top. I'm just gonna, yeah, I've just snapped that off. Oh my gosh. Oh. Oh, that's, um, that's dirty. But again, the chicken comes through and the hand gets going again. Oh, crikey, that was harder to eat then. It was much more drier. Kind of like trying to eat a bramble bush uh, right there. Boston's looking up at me right now going, what are you eating? And what was I eating? But I'm going to say that this food fear is not a food fear fail. That I should actually try that again with some tomato sauce and onions. It wasn't actually that bad. I can't believe I'm saying that. Really dry and crunchy and woody and definitely a chicken vibe. Dirty chicken is what I'm gonna class it as. Muddy, dirty chicken nuggets. Yes. Uh, so there we go. Thank you, Rob, for sending in those mopane worms. Look like big fat caterpillars. In fact, I think they are basically known as caterpillars too. Uh, the Zimbabwe treat video looks amazing. That is coming up next week. So check that out and I'll see you again next time.